what's up? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to change it up and do a pop quiz on the different abnormal lung sounds with a quick review of causes and appropriate nursing interventions. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tina, nurse practitioner. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Let's get started. Before we begin, if you still need a quick review on lung sounds, I'm going to include the links below in the description box if you need further explanation. So beginning with the first sound, I'll let it run for about 30 seconds. If you need to pause to decide on your answer, please do so. Otherwise, I will give the answer shortly after. So beginning with lung sound number one, take a listen. The answer is wheezing. This is a musical squeaky sound that is a high pitch that is heard during expiration. This can occur from a buildup of mucus, asthma, and is associated with bronchospasms. Some nursing interventions would be use of an inhaler or a nebulizer treatment and some antihistamines to control secretions. Moving on to sound number two, take a listen. The answer is crackles. There are two types, fine crackles versus coarse crackles. So fine crackles can clear with a cough and creates a crackling popping sound that is heard with a high pitch at the end of inspiration. That can be a short duration. It sounds like hair rubbing together. Give it a try. Grab a few strands of hair and rub together close to your ears. It can resemble the sound of fine crackles. This is associated with early heart failure, pulmonary edema, pneumonia, or atelectasis, and idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Now, coarse crackles does not clear with coughing and is low pitch, has a bubbly, harsh sound with this like moist, wet sound heard during inspiration with a long duration. When I have encountered this sound on a patient, the best way to explain it, it sounds like blowing through a straw underwater. This type of crackle is associated with pulmonary edema, pneumonia, COPD, or heart failure. Moving on to lung sound number three. Take a listen. <laughs> The answer is strider. This lung sound is like a constant pitch with this continuous crowing or musical sound that can be from a partial larynx or trachea obstruction. This can also be heard with croup. Some nursing interventions, you'll want to elevate the head of the bed, provide corticosteroids, humidification, and in some instances, racemic epi can be used. When my eldest got croup around three years of age, he had to get racemic epi and it helped tremendously. Okay, let's take a listen to lung sound number four.
The answer is ronkai. This sound is heard during expiration and is a low pitch rumbling sound that can be associated with tumor or secretions and some nursing interventions is use of an incentive spirometer, promote fluid intake to thin the secretions and suctioning as needed. Next is lung sound number five. Take a listen. This one was not a trick question. It was silence because it was an absent breath sound. So there are no audible sounds heard over auscultation and can be associated with a large atelectasis, which can be a complete or partial collapse of the lung. A lobectomy is which is a surgical operation where a lobe of the lung is removed. A pneumonectomy, which is a surgical procedure to remove one side of your lung. And a pneumothorax is a collapsed lung or it could be from a main stem bronchi obstruction, which is an obstruction of the bronchi. Next is lung sound number six. Take a listen. The answer is plural friction rub. This sound is a harsh, dry, grating sound that has a crackling sound. This sound is correlated from loss of lubricating pleural fluid and from inflammation. It's best heard over the lower surface of the thorax. You can reproduce the sound by rubbing only your thumb and finger together close to your ears. You can hear the sound reproduced, or if you happen to have two pieces of leather, rub them together, it'll recreate the sound for you. So some nursing interventions would be focusing on pain management and use of NSAIDs, which is your non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. All right, this wraps up respiratory sounds. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.